Alright guys, today is October the 10th, Saturday. We are back at the same river where we caught the 10 walleye two weeks ago and caught 12 species. We're going to try to get beat our old record of 15 once again. You just never know. Anyway, Hurricane Delta was supposed to cause 70% rain today, and it just vanished like that. Now it's only a 20% chance, but every hour is only 15%. It's complete overcast. The leaves are red and orange. They're falling off the trees. There's a light breeze. Perfect conditions. There's no reason we shouldn't catch a lot of fish today, guys. No reason at all. Red horse? Oh, bluegill. All right, guys, we're at species number one. Wilma caught a bluegill. We're on the board. Regular bluegill, let me double check it. Yep, species number one, bluegill, guys. Uh, that's not a bad one. There's four grass carp down here, but they're small. It would still get the species up, though. First fish. Nice bass. Oh my god, that thing looks like it's full of eggs. Could be a false spawn. It's a large mouth and it is full of eggs. Weird. This is the small one. The big guy was right next to him, unfortunately. That's how it always goes. The little guy gets it instead of the one you're wanting. I caught him on a Lunker City shaker. It's pink with silver. 3.25 inch paddle tail. Quarter ounce jig head, pink and yellow. Nice bass. Nice, chunky, large mouth. Totally f full of eggs, guys. Species number two. Channel, <coughs> channel cat, three kinds. We are at three species, guys. Largemouth, bluegill, and channel cat. I do not like taking these ones off. These are the ones that will get you. Oh, he let go. I just had a big bass. There's four of them right in front of me. All spotted. That'd be a different kind. Oh! Oh! 
Oh man, I got the big one. Large mouth though, it's not a spotted. Oh man, guys, this is a nice large mouth. Oh. Oh my goodness. Man. About two and a half. That's a nice bass, guys. For once, I got the big bass when there's a group of them. I usually, the, the small ones will run over first. I got really lucky that time. And the big guy in the bunch ran over. I had to stop my retrieve. I completely stopped it. And he picked it up real slow. I sat there and watched him. That was fun. Got him on the pink pulsar. Not a bad bass either. Nice one. Nice large mouth. Alright, I'm going to get her back in. Still only at three species, guys. And I'm going to put her back in over here on the other creek. It won't matter much because I done spooked them, but well, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho. on the flicker shad, the gold one. Oh my God, that was so awesome. I just kept jerking it like that and it twitching the minnow. Oh, he's two and a half again. Another large mouth though. No, I see spotted bass right in front of me. Oh man. Oh goodness. The gold one, I just kept twitching it like it was injured. All right, guys, another, another decent largemouth. Got him on the copper flicker shad. Not a bad, not a bad largemouth. He's two and a half again. I caught him by working the flicker shad more like a jerk bait, stop and go method, and. Uh, it's overcast, that's why I chose the color gold. This is actually called black brass, is what it is. Is the name of it. It's black on top, gold on the sides, and a tiny shiver of silver toward the bottom, and then reddish, pinkish, orangish bottom there. Very good lure for overcast conditions. Look at that boy. Yes. Nice bass. All right, we're gonna get her back in too. So I did manage to at least get two nice ones out of this hole and it's just a little 10 foot pothole. Another two and a half pounder. Large mouth. It's deep enough. Got him. All right, we finally got a spotted bass, guys. Four species. Little guy. 
I'm catching more fish on the stop and go method than a steady retrieve. They're not biting a steady retrieve today whatsoever. It's more of a slow, slow presentation. Alright, little guy, 10 inch, 9. spotted no it's a large mouth just a small one he is a largey All right, a mean mouth. Hey, that's five kinds, guys. Yes. And an unexpected catch at that. He looks almost pure smallmouth, but he's not. That is a mean mouth. Sure as heck is. Nice little mean mouth. Cool looking. All right, species number five, mean mouth. Heck yeah. goodness yeah three feet from the bank did you see me miss it the first time my god he's three pounds mm. don't jump no he's three. Oh my goodness all them birds whoa yeah he's a full three isn't he all right fill me real quick cuz I gotta change my battery after this guys we're not catching many, but we are not doing horrible either. We're just, after I think that two weeks ago it spoiled us. And uh, that's a full three pounds there. Yeah. Isn't he? Not bad. Big. Guys, where he bit, I could see the bottom, but couldn't see him sitting there. It's, he was in three foot of water, two and a half foot of water. God. Big old bass for a little creek, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Nice. It's a nice one. Man, that might be my best one of the day. Yeah. Don't get any better ones. That's a big one. 
for a creek it is, isn't it? I can't believe he was sitting that close to the bank. <laughs> Alright guys, I didn't have my camera on on accident, but I just caught a nice sauger. He's about 15 inches. 14. He's 14. I got him on the pink pulsar. Out of the same hole. Yep, he's a pure sauger, this one. What a gorgeous sauger. I gotta find a spot where I can set my hat down where I can film myself. He's a really nice one. There is nowhere. I have nowhere to set the hat down at. Yeah, right here, I guess. It's a really nice auger. him on the got him on the pink pulsar nice little sauger he's a really nice one actually it may look promising now that's six six kinds all right guys we are up to six kinds nice little sauger about a little 14 incher I'll take them though honey 14 inch sauger and all right guys you know the drill they can't resist that pink pulsar it's a little slower bite today but it's looking promising it's just not near as exciting as two weeks ago. Uh, that trip spoiled us because we were doing so good that we expected to do that good again and it's just not the way it is. Oh my god holy cow whoa oh my god oh my god whoa oh whoa oh my god what is that following him oh it's another bass shadow this is a gigantic spotted bass guys there's three more curious ones down there oh my gosh this may have been the one I seen swim in front of me earlier. Oh, wowzers. Whoa. Oh, my God. Spotted bass. It's another three-pounder, easily. Maybe even heavier. God. On the crankbait, in three foot of water little tiny pothole that you wouldn't even think fish are in God. guys that is a toad of a spotted bass Whew. my goodness I actually have to get my pliers out for this guy he got it pretty good in there he swallowed that thing really good oh my god That's a nice spot. Really nice for a little creek. My goodness, man. What a heck of a spotted bass that is. Whew. Ooh, this is going to be hard to get out without damaging my hooks.
guys, what a freaking toad of a spotted bass. <clears throat> That's my fourth nice one this year that have all went three to four pounds. For these little Ozark streams, that's a giant spotted bass. I got him once again on that black brass, black brass flicker shad. In a, in a hole that is no more than three foot deep, it's just a little tiny pothole. About the size of a little restroom, my goodness. Unbelievable. What a spot. All right, let's get her back in. She's been out for a little while. That's a big spotted bass for this creek. You very seldom see them this big at all. My gosh, what a tank. There we go. All right, white bass. That's species number seven. Hey, we are climbing. Little bitty white bass. Heck yeah, guys, on the pink pulsar. I've actually kept this same one on and caught probably 10 fish on it and amazingly have not destroyed it or bit the tail off. That's a rarity. Now he is a tiny white bass, but it is a white bass and it's a new species, guys. All right, species number seven, white bass. Definitely not the size we're after, but hey, take what we can get, right? Snagged, oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, it's a big one, it's a big one. No, he bit it. I bumped him and he turned his head and oh my God, I can't believe that worked. Crazy guys, crazy. This is an easily four pounder here. He's four. I do believe so. Oh my God. It was four. That would have been my best fish of the day. Gone. Had him halfway in. Oh my goodness, what went wrong there? My lure hit his side and he snapped on it. He went, he just went crazy. There's no way he'll bite again. Absolutely no way. Got something though. Littler guy. Little two pounder. That bass was easily four pounds, that large mouth. This large mouth's only about a pound and a half, actually. That definitely would have been my fish of the day. I'll probably never get an opportunity like that again. Oh, he's two. He's a full two pounds. All right, guys, on the missile. There he is. Got it. I think that's what it is too. Little bitty one. Yep. Sauger. All right, guys. Sauger number two. Yeah, that's a. F mm, let me see here. I believe that's a full sauger. Yep. Got the black spots on his fins. All right, sauger number two, guys. It's turning around. I missed a lot of nice fish, but I'm going to make up for it these next three hours, hopefully. There is a walleye out in front of me, too, because I've seen the white tip on the tail. Just happened.
haven't got him yet. I think I got a crappie. Yep. Nine kinds, guys. Hey. Nine species. We're getting there now. We got all of them that we'll get with a lure, though, unfortunately. Now we just need to get the odd and ends with the worms, but the, those kinds ain't biting no more. Buffalo carp and grass carp, they're just not biting. Little black crappie guy, about six inches. Stay still. Alright guys, get her back in, he's a little bitty one. The reason I caught him is because I'm using a smaller bait. Little black crappie. <coughs> Not horrible. There we go. That's a nice, it's a large mouth, but it's just real weird looking design. It's kind of like winter colors. Ah! You <clears throat> calm down. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. You had something. Alright, guys, another large mouth. Wilma just missed one on the crankbait. I got him on a pink pulsar again. Not even a pound, but it's not horrible. Cool little design on the guy, though. If I tighten the drag, he'll break it. I gotta let him wear down. Oh, the dip net would be nice, but oh well. He's getting puttered out. It's a small mouth. He's not hooked that great either. Nice small mouth buffalo. About eight pounds, seven or eight, maybe nine. Pretty big. Caught on him on a Berkeley flicker shad. He fair hooked it. I mean, I fair hooked it too. He actually bit my crankbait. It's a small mouth. Pretty awesome. <laughs> That's a nice surprise, isn't it? You sure you don't need to step back? Why you want to step back? It's showing the whole fish. It ain't cutting it off, is it? Where it cuts off the tail or nothing? No. Nope. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna get him back in. We are at ten species now. Or no, eleven. Slow down, slow the down. green sunfish was ten. This is eleven. Put in nicely. Put the feeding. My goodness! Look at my arm. Sunfish and long hair sunfish. Twelve. We could do it now if we get. What are we missing? We're missing drum. Drum would make thirteen. Twelve species, guys. Long hair sunfish. Species number twelve. All right, Wilma caught a walleye.
hold him up for it. All right, guys, we got our first real walleye of the day. The other two were pure saugers. That's 13 species in one day, guys. Not too bad. Yeah, we didn't do we didn't do great today, but we did all right. We ended up doing pretty good, really. We just need more white bass and smallmouth. Good job. It's because it's getting dark. I wonder if we should go back to the top real quick. You know what? We're down to the rocks for half an hour. Down there at the corner. As long as we, leave, we could get down there and be fishing by 6 and just stay till 6.30 and then go. Last fish here, guys, right where we got to the van. We was, a, we was 10 feet from shore, and she caught one more bass on a, oh, he's going to fall off. That's a big, hold him up for us. I'll zoom in on you. She caught him on a Lyman Chrome Flicker Shad, number five, the smaller version of the Flicker Shad. That's like only two inches. He's about almost two pounds. Turn around, you're like diagonal and stuff. There you go. It's not bad. He's big. Hold him up again, kind of. Big. Yeah, he's decent. You got a good fish finally at the end. Yeah. We're going the wrong way now. Get it. Okay. Hold it one more time. Yeah, like that. Now let me zoom. Just keep holding it just like that. That's a big one there. Yeah, he looks big now. Oh, I gotta unzoom. Right there. Turn it a little bit this way. No, he was doing it right, but you just need to turn it. He was angled where all I seen was his belly. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. 